Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I was actually getting ready to stream on Twitch, uh, www.twitch.tv slash Black Plague. And I saw that our girl uploaded a video and I had everything set up already. So I was like, screw it. Might as well just do a reaction. I want to know what counting 20 doing. I want to know how counting calories for 29 days straight helped Amberlynn in the, in the end, right? I mean, don't we all want to know? So without further ado, let's get into the video. I, the, Hello, everyone. I personally, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, she makes so much money that I don't know if she's ever heard of a place called Fiverr. There's this, there's a website called Fiverr.com and you can literally pay money to have people make intros or all kinds of things for you. And I don't know why she doesn't utilize that considering she has over 100,000 subscribers. I feel like that alone would like make her content that much more tasteful or palatable. But whatever, let's keep going. We're currently watching an Sorry, old Jackie's episode of, well, an old season of Big Brother. Because Becky loves Big Brother. I got her to Great. love it. Great, I'm Yay. so happy. Next on the agenda, I'm helping Becky put away some of her clothes. We're doing laundry. Got some work right there. This is like the way that we do it. I fold and put them on hangers. And then she actually puts them in the um, closet. So you do everything from a seated position while Becky actually runs around the house doing the chores. See, this is what I mean. When she talks about doing chores, she's, I mean, I get it. She's 600 pounds. It's probably really hard for her. But you know what you do? You say, I'm going to put these clothes away. I'm going to do, I'm going to get this housework done. And I may not be able to do it all at one time. But guess what? I have nothing but time today. I don't have a job. I don't go to school. I don't have things. I don't have anyone to really take care of other than myself so what you do is you fold the clothes and then maybe you weren't going to be able to do all of the trips to put it away in like in five minutes so you instead you just slowly put them away throughout the day she needs to be getting up she needs to be moving her body sitting in bed isn't burning enough calories like she needs to get up and move so we always have this closed and wasabi comes in here on the daily stands up and tries to get in it but since it's closed well now he leaves but since it's closed he can never get in it but he that house is so cluttered to get in i would today. Ugh, that was there's so much clutter wasn't he cute though you guys i just want to say i am very proud so she's gonna sit in her bed and just show us things from her bed the entire time like that's can you just get to the calorie part of the makeup I have accumulated, if that's the word. Like, look at all that. This is the um, bag that I got in Trisha Paytas's first subscri subscription box. So this is like the makeup that I want to use most frequent. But you guys, I frequently have here. Like, what am I doing? There's nothing in that. Me. I'm not really like that girl with like a ton of makeup. Why are you so, opening like? And I also have all this. I don't know. It's t so, I don't get that. I personally don't understand why someone who barely uses makeup would be subscribed to a bunch of different makeup subscription services. Like, I can understand if you're a person who loves to put on makeup every day and you're constantly loving to try new things, but she doesn't use any of the stuff she has. I mean, she literally uses this glitter stuff that gives her eye infections that she's had since high school. So, like throw it away like throw a bunch of this away like and in fact unsubscribe like quit wasting your money on all this shit on torrid halls on makeup halls get yourself a personal trainer get yourself some kind of food service or something that's going to come in and give you some actually decent meals and like actually do something to change your life like having who cares about all this fucking makeup that you don't know how to use or use period like i'm not trying to flex i'm just kind of like proud to own more makeup because i really do want to experiment with but more you put foundation on with your hands looks. like so, you're a fucking yeah. heathen and again i love this purse so much i remember when i first opened it i was kind of like mm, it's okay but for a makeup bag literally perfection great so 
Hello. Awesome. I'm happy for you. <laughs> we just got done. Can we talk about the, like, I have dark circles around my eyes or whatever. Well, I have actually lights because I use this cream and it's been lightening it a little bit. But my God, dude, she does not look well. She looks so sickly. Cleaning. Uh, we, we did a lot. Becky is now resting. She looks cozy. Wasabi's climbing on Pillow Mountain. I told him he has to pay to go to Pillow Mountain since it's such like a famous attraction, but he didn't want to pay, so. Is this entire vlog gonna be done from her bed? Like this is progress? I'm confused. He kind of like snuck in, but you know, it's cool. But actually we we're watching this YouTuber. Um, he is called Chills. He does these like really creepy videos where it's like a compilation and he like talks about them and stuff like that. I'm a little scared, but you know, that's cool. So I did want to talk about something. Um, the vlog that actually went up cool. today. Cool, so glad we found that out. September 6th, so hello. The vlog that went up today, a lot of people like really hated it. And I just want to yeah. let you guys know that I promised that I would upload for 100 days in a row. And <laughs> during that time, there will be days where you know I go through really personal things and I just don't want to vlog. Okay. So that was one of, one of those. Then just don't yesterday. do it. So that's why the video was like really bad. No, people were upset with you because you literally went on camera and talked about how it's okay for a 600 pound person to consider to, to continuously keep doing mukbangs on their channel. Like that's why people were upset with you because you're sitting on there trying to rationalize how it's okay for you to eat on camera and how it helps you. But all you've done is gain weight. You've gained 300 pounds since you started this whole eating on camera bullshit. That's why people were upset. Not because you didn't show anything. You don't show anything ever. You haven't showed anything interesting on your channel for fucking y almost years at this point because you're entirely bed bound. Like, the old, like we, we, we saw you go to Lexington and we barely saw you go to a Target, but the entire vlog consisted of you getting takeout and eating from a bed in a hotel room. Like, what? I can't. But like, I live just like a mediocre life. Like I don't that, do anything. Like that's the truest statement Amberlynn's ever said that she le leads a mediocre life. See, that's why I don't like that, that um, argument that her and like Chantel like to use is that people are jealous of her or they're jealous of them. Of what? What on earth could anyone be jealous of? You guys live incredibly isolated, insular lives. You guys don't go out, you don't do anything. Your family members don't really care about you that much either. Like, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. I'm like super spectacular. And like I said, I was just having a really, really bad day yesterday. Lots of crying, a lot of personal stuff. But you know, I kept saying to myself, oh my God, maybe I just shouldn't vlog and I should just fail the hundred days of uploading. But then I was like, actually, no, I'm gonna. Who cares? About, like, I love how she has more perseverance for this hundred days of uploading. When we all know that this is all monetarily, like the only, the only reason she's doing this is because she, she makes money from it. But like, how, why can't you commit to a diet? Why can't you commit to like a weight loss plan from a weight loss doctor? Why, wh that's, but uploading every day is, that's the thing you're gonna commit to. Not trying to save your life. Girl, get your priorities in I check. I don't want to today. So that kind of explains that whole thing because a lot of people are like being really rude about it. Hey guys, so it's been hours and hours since I last updated you. And you haven't moved. And I'm having another, just, <laughs> I'm going through some stuff. I I feel like the world currently right now, my world, my little world, is completely just like falling apart. See, this is, when I did my live stream yesterday, I was talking about how I think she did that whole fake suicide thing because she wanted to hit the reset button because she's gotten to a state that may even have frightened her and she is, which is crazy to me because I would have been fearful a way long ago. But um, I th I do think that she, I don't she's spiraling. I really honestly, I don't even really understand what she's trying to prove at this point by doing these. Get yourself some real help because you can't do it by yourself, Amberlynn. If anything, your channel has proven for the past four years, five years, six years, actually, that someone like you can't do it by yourself. You just can't. Please. Please don't start doing like assumptions right now. I just. She's like, I can't it. even get out of bed but anymore. My life is awful. On, um, 
Instagram. Oh, fishing so, for more comments. See, are you kidding? So she literally did this whole video talking about how the comments were driving her to self-harm and not wanting to live anymore. And she's on here doing polls. Like, what? I, it makes no sense to me. I want to know what people think, and I feel like it's important what, you that were, we just get the... You just proclaimed that hearing what people had to say about you was ca causing you to not question your life. To question wanting to exist. And you're literally online soliciting for those opinions now? That makes no sense. It's out in the open. So I put, as you guys know, I'm doing 100 days of uploading. I'm in the 80s now, and I'm very proud of that. The video I uploaded yesterday didn't go over very well because I was having a hard, painful, personal day. Normally I would have given up on vlogging and not have filmed, but I sucked it up and tried to do my best, but people were very upset with the lack of content I uploaded. I'm having another hard day where I mentally feel handicapped from happiness, motivation, <laughs> I handicapped or from other happiness. Than pain and sorrow. Again, this I is can't. all personal and I would not like to talk about it right now. Then why are you online talking about it? Are you a fucking idiot? You're literally, I would not like to talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it and make an Instagram post and have you vote on it. Like, what? That's crazy. That makes no sense. My question is, do I upload three minute vlogs with no content or do I take a break? I want it to be up to you, not me. I, oh, and so you're gonna dictate strangers to, that is crazy. That is actual craziness. You are so, supposedly so wrought with mental health that you, you're just in the d the wallows you're in the depths you can't find your way out there's no opening and you're gonna leave that to some strangers to make that decision for you what the fuck and if you guys can see it i put upload still don't upload so I'm about to post let that me right guess. Now. Let me guess. And People are going to say upload because I love watching this train wreck. Kind Duh. Of like the outcome, no matter what, I am going to be uploading this vlog. So then why are you asking people no matter what you're going to keep uploading? What the fuck? I can't, dude. Literally, like, but this she, is this is all for attention. Z purely all for attention. F future reference. Um, I just don't know what to do. And I really don't want to leave anyone hanging i want people to decide why are you so concerned about what strangers are doing like and if they're gonna feel an emptiness because you don't upload every day bitch if you're on you're talking about how you're really spiraling and you're really circling the drain go fucking find help figure it out why are you allow why are you allowing strangers to dictate your life like that's so crazy you're 600 fucking pounds you have way more shit to be worried about than people being upset with you because you didn't upload a vlog every day this for me i want my viewers to decide this for me do you guys want to see wow lack just thereof absolute of content wow or uh, would you guys rather me just not upload at all because <laughs> i mean whatever you guys choose will be up to you again like i'm just not doing very well right now so i'm adding it to my story i literally just added it right now so congrats it's actually 1104 she PM gets she's currently she, get, she gets off on all this shit dude she fucking gets off on it she loves it she if she's like tinkerbell or whatever like if, if people aren't constantly giving her some kind of validation she'll wither up and die like it, it fuck. this is bad this is really bad Okay, it's just <laughs> it's interesting because all her viewers have been telling her for fucking five years now is to fix her life and get it together and lose weight and save yourself. And she can't that goes in one ear and out the other. But people wanting to, her to upload every day and they say, yeah, oh, got that for you. I can, I can figure that out for you, boo. Change to 1105. Do you guys love my wallpaper? No, like, seriously, no one gives I'm, a fuck about your basic ass I'm white girl wallpapers. OK, you okay? Guys. so sorry. It's been an hour. Sorry, not I'm sorry. I'm to go check and see what you guys said. 71% said still upload. She fucking, she literally, that was, the, that's the, her first orgasm in five years right there. Dude, this is so fucking dark. It's so dark. Like, she's really out here trivializing mental illness and, like, getting off on it. That's fucked up. I have to admit, I'm a wee bit shocked. 
Seventy one percent. Twenty. She's so proud, dude. She's so proud. Ooh, uh, I can't. It's so gross. It it lit. I need to go take another shower. I said mm. so don't upload. So normally, usually when I send something off like that, I will get DMs. So, um. So she's gonna check the DMs. I'm gonna click some. This one says, do what's best for you. I'm, I'm not gonna read like the whole thing because it's super long. Um, you're so close to reaching your goal. Sometimes we have to break our own cycle of sadness and sorrow. Um, then someone said, take a good break. It's always very like split, but according to the poll, someone said never. She's fucking crazy, dude. Look at how bad her skin is, dude. Look at it. It's bad. <laughs> never give up on your never give up on your goals. Keep pushing through, even when times are tough. Love you, Amber. Oh, please put your mental. She get this is literally her just fucking masturbating to like people fucking telling her how much they love her and shit. Like, I mean, it's such it's such a fucking it's such an easy thing to do. It's such a it's like low hanging fruit or whatever to like go out there and like pretend that you're like suicidal or that you're super depressed just to get some validation on the internet real quick. It's like it's like it's like her, she just like injected some heroin or something. It's fucking gross. Well, first, <sighs> yeah. See, it's very split, but I'm just gonna. Go I honestly don't know what she gets off on more, the self congratulations or food. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Go off to the poll. And so I just want to say for the next few videos might be a little not good. Like whatever. This is kind of just life right now. And I think life is sitting in up, your bed all day. Um, Becky and I might be having to stay at her family's for a little bit and I won't be able to upload. So I'm hoping that's after the hundred days of uploading. I'm actually gonna look real quick because I need to see what day it is. Hold on. So today, the day that you are watching this is day Another journal haul. How many fucking I'm journals does this woman have? But I want to show you guys these because I know you guys are like, oh my God, why do you have so many like books and pamphlets and this and that? Because you have nothing you else to do in your life. I have been religiously using these. So this one is the one that I scheduled just my life. If I have appointments, you know, you know, it's, you know what you could do, Amberlynn. You have an iPhone 10x Max or whatever the fuck you have. You can literally do all of that on your fucking phone. Like I don't even understand why you need to buy all these fucking journals. <laughs> I can't, and they look like they're for ten year olds. What videos I want to film, when I want them uploaded, just anything. This is where I do it. This is where my grocery lists are. Just anything I need to jot down, any notes. I've been using this for months, actually. This right here, isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? In my opinion, it is. So this is actually where I write down every single thing I eat. Like, if I ate a Tic Tac, I write it in this. Girl, bye. Today, we know you ain't doing that. The 29th day. She ain't gonna open it. She's not gonna show us what she's been eating. I know that for sure. I'm doing this in a row. What I've been doing is actually counting calories, and I've been doing them whether I'm on track or off of track because I am curious for my body, like how for many my calories body. I need to gain weight, maintain, and lose weight. It's interesting. She makes this distinction. All I've noticed this. She makes this distinction between her body and herself. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense at what I just said. But she does that a lot. She she literally acts as if, like, it's another being. It's like another sentient being. Like, her body is one part, and then her, she herself are, is another thing. So, like, she's not culpable for what her body does. It's weird. Like, no, Amberlynn, like, you're the one who, su su like, supplies your body with the nutrition that it gets. Thus, why it's 600 pounds. Like, you are that same per That is you. You are an entire ass being. You're not two different things. Like, I don't know why she does that. It's weird. Wait, because everyone is different no matter what. Like, someone next to me could weigh the exact same amount. They could literally be the exact same height and everything. But it would just be different. Because no, that's not how science works. Okay, if you eat less, you lose weight. It doesn't matter. Not every you don't have a unique digestive system, or your body doesn't absorb nutrients and calories in a unique way compared to the rest of the human species. It's all the fucking same. 
<laughs> you're not special. You're, this is what terminal uniqueness is about. She thinks she's the special fat person, that the rules don't apply to her. And that's why she's not gonna get better. Because we're two different people. So I've been like doing that. It's like my little experiment and I'm really proud because 29 days is a long time to be doing that. So yeah, I just think it's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. But yeah, I've been doing that and been enjoying that. And it's nice to see, like go back and see like what I ate for the day because sometimes at night I'm like, oh my God, I'm hungry. What did I eat earlier? Like I literally forget sometimes. I don't understand how you could, for I mean, I don't know. Are you blacking out while you eat or something? Like, how do you forget what you eat? You don't do anything all day. Like, I can understand if someone was at a job and, like, they, you know, like, you're so busy sometimes that you just shove things in your mouth and you just keep it pushing and you're not really paying attention to what you're eating. But literally, Am all Amber Lynn has to do all day is record these shitty-ass vlogs from her bedroom, and that's it. Like, so I don't understand how you could not remember what you ate. Like, are you blacking out? Like, are you going into, like, some, like, transcendental state and you're just, like, hovering over your body while you it eats or something? Like, is that why she refers to her body and herself as two different beings? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. So, if I go back and I look at it and I'm like, whoa, I've actually ate a lot. Let's just, you know, skip eating for the night. It's just yeah, really right. interesting to see. Like, Amberlynn Hello. skips a meal. We literally just watched her make uh, a second meal. <laughs> <laughs> what was it the other day she like went on a, a trip and oh that was right she went and saw her psychiatrist and they caught her in front of Yamamoto's or Yamato's or whatever the fucking nasty ass Japanese restaurant they go I don't fucking know and she tried to pretend like they didn't go out to eat and then she came home and made herself like three sandwiches because she's like oh I skipped lunch so I need to like make up for it like so what's the point of counting calories I don't understand you what have you achieved what is 29 days of what is 29 straight days of counting calories showed you how has it bettered your life? How is it, have you made any changes? Have you, like, what happened? Like, <laughs> nothing, you haven't lost any weight, clearly. You're still sitting in your bed all day and Becky's there joining you with your dog. What has happened in those 29 straight days of counting calories? What have you achieved? Oh. And fucking clean your bed sheets. They're fucking disgusting. My name is Twinkie Star. So much shit all over like them. And I sound like a robot. And I'm looking at my mother like she is crazy. <laughs> you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you're like having a mental break. Like, I guess this is what happens when you sit in the same spot for 12 hours a day or, f or more than that, 24 hours a day. I, she doesn't move. I guess she only moves to go to the bathroom. No. If Twinkie could talk, what do you think she would sound like? Uh, she would sound like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I told you, she she sounds like one of those 40 year old women who's never married and they're a little chunky and they wear sweaters and they have curly hair. Did she just describe Amber Lynn Reed's? Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. She said 40 year old. We all know that's not going to happen. Glasses and they're kind of grandma. -ish. I like, I kind of like so Becky's shirt. Fake cookies. <laughs> knit. Oh. Programs on. Is that you, baby girl? Pat say Jack. Is that you? That dog looks so fearful. She loves her tummy rub. So every time you start um, petting her, she'll slowly but surely roll over on her back. Mm -hmm. Huh. You like your little tummy rub. You see those knuckles? Now, and I said this in my live stream yesterday too. She's putting concealer on her knuckles sometimes. Because if you watch that video, her hands were incredibly white. And now they're back to that nasty black color. So what the fuck's going on, dude? Oh. She's like, you better keep going. <laughs> so, so glad that we're watching this. Comment of the day. Hey. There's a uh, YouTube channel. I, I love how she bought a MacBook, like a MacBook Pro, and all she uses it for is iMovie, Spotify, and Chrome. That's like it. That's all she uses. I can't, dude. Why would you even go out and buy something like that if you're just going to use it to, like, watch YouTube? Like, like a $2,500 YouTube machine. I used to watch that does that, and now I'm, like, drawing a blank. So... Oh, we're going to do comment of the day. The comments that she claims caused her to want to take her own life. These little comments, we have a little over 2,600. So 
she's she's very upset about that. She does not like the fact that she's getting less comments on her videos. That bothers her. I'll see you in a minute. All right, random, random, random. Bender Rodriguez, girl, dot, dot, dot. You're eating a salad for five people. If you wanna lose weight, you need to cut your portion sizes down. Agreed. Okay, so. I disagree. Of course. Why am I surprised that the 600 pound woman who hasn't left her bedroom in a day is disagreeing with some sound advice on how to lose weight? Why am I not surprised? I do disagree. When you're on my size and you're counting calories, you do get a little bit more calories than the average person. No, you should be eating the same amount of calories as everyone else. That's why you're 600 pounds. You need to be eating less than 2000 calories a day. I can't, dude. Ugh, can't. I just can't. And like, who, like if you're 190 pounds and you're try, trying to lose weight, like obviously you're gonna get less calories than me. It's not about the portions to me. It's about the calories. Uh, That's the same thing, you idiot. Portion size is about reducing your caloric intake. Th it's the same thing. Like, what? That salad I was eating in that video is about 500 calories, which is really good for a meal. I'd rather have 500 calories worth of a delicious salad that not only gives me energy, but it just makes me feel better throughout the day. And Iceberg lettuce has like no nutritional value. Like you, you're, you're like eating nothing almost. That salad has no nutritional value, real talk. If it had kale or spinach, if it was, maybe if it was mixed greens, but it's one of those trash Walmart salad kits that are like not really that great for you that are full of oil and like those chips. That, like there's no nutritional value in that salad. Like there's none. And to me, it keeps me fuller longer than anything else. Uh, a grilled piece of chicken would keep you fuller longer, but whatever. I, like there's literal like si studies done. There's science behind nutrition. And she literally comes on here and tries to argue against it all the time. I don't get it. Like it's literal facts. Like I then having 500 calories worth of salad, but also like something else on the side, because if I was to just have one portion of the salad, it's like a hundred and something calories. And that would not keep me like thriving throughout the day. Bitch, this is what you call thriving. This is thriving. Sitting in bed all day is thriving. So <laughs> obviously those salads aren't giving you energy. You didn't do a damn thing today. Trust me, it's okay. It's like literally about the calories. It's and just this crazy is why she that, won't like, lose weight. See me eating like a this is why big right here portion of salad that's really low calorie, and they still tell me to like eat less of it. It's so crazy to me because say you have two thousand calories. You should be eating a, a serving of that salad, some kind of like grilled protein, some lean protein, and you should be eating more of that than you should be eating of the salad. And actually some vegetables that were not processed heavily or put in the microwave, maybe some like actually like oven roasted broccoli or some asparagus or green beans or so something, something, some sweet potatoes even. Fuck, I'd even, I'd even give you that bitch. Like let's eat some like some, some, some diced grilled, some diced oven roasted sweet potatoes. Like that would be better for you than those, those salad kits from, those salad kits from Walmart have, they're useless, real talk. They're honestly, it's just filler food. It's something that like you give to someone like before you give them their actual meal. Calories that you can eat in one day, me eating that salad still leaves me with 1500 more calories. So, right? And you could eat like two big pieces of chicken breast that were grilled and that will keep you fuller longer, that will have that'll give you way more protein, that'll increase your that'll decrease your muscle muscle atrophy because you don't do anything all day, so your muscles, you probably have no muscle mass. She probably has zero muscle mass. And she doesn't eat high protein foods, so there's no protein going to her muscles. Like, that would keep you fuller longer. That would have more uh, nutritional value than anything you've put in your mouth. But you choose the easy way because you're so lazy that you don't even want to cook for yourself. I mean, I don't know. Even if I was doing 1,200 calories, eating that salad keeps me, like, sustained throughout the day. You really, get, we really think she's sitting here eating just that salad throughout the day? You really think that? Looking like that? You really think that she's really only eating that salad? Like, girl, you have to be dumb if you think we're that stupid. So it would still leave me with 700 more, you know? So, I don't know. 
everyone's body is different. That's like what's been working for me. It's and it fucking makes me feel science, best. dude. All fat people lose weight the same fucking way by reducing their caloric intake and making better meal choices. It's the same thing, dude. You don't do that. You're not different. You're not unique. You're not the special case. You're not going into the medical... You're, you're not going to be studied by the American Physicians Association or whatever. And, like, you're going to be... They're going to be this breakthrough study. And it's going to be called, like, Amberlin Reedism or something. And, like, it's the special case where, like, morbidly obese people's bodies digest food at a different rate or in a different way. Like, you're not going to be that person. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. And to me, that's a lot healthier than me going to, going to get a Big Mac. So anyways, no shit. Anything's more healthy than, than a Big Mac. See you in the next one. Bye. A fucking diet soda is healthier than a Big Mac. Oh, God, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. <sighs> she, so she didn't learn anything. from I, Like I thought, she wasn't going to learn anything from counting calories for 29 days straight. Um, she, once again, had to get some more ass pats by crying i'm depressed on every social media platform that there is because no one in her life loves her enough to tell her that she's loved so she's got to get it from strangers on the internet um i can't dude like it's <laughs> so sad it's fucking sad whatever we're gonna end it here i'm michael b petty make sure to like comment and subscribe um follow me on twitter and on instagram at michael b petty um oh yeah today actually i'm gonna upload this today on saturday um September 7th, 2019, from 3 to 5 p.m. on the Amberlynn subreddit. It's www.reddit.com slash Amberlynn. Um, I'm going to be doing an Ask Me Anything. So come on there and literally ask me anything, and I'll answer your question. So I'll see you there. And until next time, toodles.